Canaveral High Court judges are calling for the resignation of Chief Justice Ivor Archie. The judges took issue with Archie taking a six-month sabbatical to rest, reflect, and study, a move they felt was untimely and inappropriate. He applied for the leave in November, which was granted by the president. Some now question the president's authority to do so. Speaker of St. Lucia House of Assembly, Leonie Theodore John has resigned after serving nearly two years in that position. Theodore John told St. Lucia Times that she offered her resignation as Speaker effective March 1, 2018. Theodore John explained that she is hoping to take up the job as Minister Councillor at St. Lucia's High Commission in London. Venezuela's opposition is calling for a national protest on March 17th. The group is rallying against the presidential election planned for May 20th. Most opposition parties are boycotting the election on the grounds that it does not provide conditions for a fair vote, noting that various opposition groups have been outlawed. And in international news, Today, India's Supreme Court has issued a landmark ruling allowing passive euthanasia, declaring that individuals have the right to die with dignity under strict guidelines. The court now permits citizens to draft a living will that specifies that life support not be given in the case of coma. Passive euthanasia allows the withdrawal of medical treatment with the intention to quicken the death of a terminally ill patient. On Thursday, President Donald Trump agreed to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un after Kim pledged to stop nuclear tests and move towards denuclearization. Donald Trump confirmed the move in a tweet last night. Kim Jong-un talked about denuclearization with the South Korean representatives, not just a freeze. Also, no missile testing by North Korea during this period of time. Great progress being made, but sanctions will remain until an agreement is reached. A meeting is planned. According to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Trump has wanted to meet with Kim for a long time. And finally, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Prince Zaid bin Ra'ad Zaid Al Hussein, urges the United Nations to investigate Myanmar for crimes against the Rohingya. In the past, he has described Myanmar's campaign against the Rohingyas as a textbook case of ethnic cleansing. He also urges the country to allow monitors into the restricted areas to investigate allegations of genocide. Reporting for Channel 2 Headline News, I am Bibi Bakas.